Hi! Welcome in the tutorial made by Wild Mesh and Den of Imagination. This is a painting tutorial and we will be painting a blaze demon. Prepare your brushes, water and let's get started. First, Xerox purple. It's a base color for the demon's body. Now we're putting second color. Spray it from the top as if the sun was shining and make a pretty gradient from blue to purple. Red will be the base color for the tentacles. And for the joint where the tentacles will come when assembled. Now we're gonna be pre-shading with white. We are doing it to make the next color brighter and more saturated. Troll Slayer Orange Troll Slayer Orange will, will be the color we will put on the tentacles on the places we marked with white As you can see the orange is very very bright and saturated It wouldn't be this way well, if we put it on red We also mark the place where the joint is to make the smooth gradient between the skin and tentacles. Usapti Bone is a pretty tricky paint, so make sure you put few thin layers on each element. With Nagarath Knight, we are gonna be correcting the mistakes we did, as well as deepening the shadows on the skin. You don't have to be extra precise though, 
the mistakes you do here are gonna be covered with the next steps. Matte black will be the base color for feathers. Try to be as careful as possible as the mistakes you do here will be very difficult to correct. If you are a beginner, try using a brush with a very sharp tip. As I said before, Ushapti bone may need another layer. This erect glow will be very, very, very good to make the bright green color on the flame like, acid like form on the bottom of the miniature. Take a big amount on your brush and just smudge it all over the surface. Make sure every recess is touched by the paint. You can take out the excess amount of paint later with a dry brush. The surface is covered with ushapti, so bones and beaks cover with Rayland flesh shade. Make sure you cover every recess as well as every surface of the element. As you did with Tesseract Glow, 
use a big amount of the paint on your brush because you can take excess later. Be quick though, it dries out really fast. When we did the airbrush, we may not have done the pretty pretty gradient from blue to purple. That is why we are using Magus Purple. This way we are gonna purple down some blue surfaces and make the gradient prettier and smoother. Now we're gonna be using a dry brush technique to highlight the skin of a creature. Use it on every blue surface you see. Strike the brush from top to bottom as if you were mimicking the sunlight. Use this technique on the most prominent parts. Fire Dragon will be the first highlight on the tentacles. You can use both dry brush technique and glaze technique. This is how dry brush looks like on those tentacles. They are quite smooth, so in my opinion the glaze technique would be better. This is why our painter chose to do the glaze technique, watered down the paint and started painting. You can already see the difference in shading. Use Fire Dragon on the most prominent parts that would catch light most easily. If you are not experienced, to make the effect more smooth, water down your paint more and use few more layers. Okay, so now flash gets yellow, which is the next step of highlight. We will also be using a glaze technique and we will be touching the same areas 
we did with Fire Dragon. The flash gates is much more saturated than Fire Dragon, so it's more visible, but that also means it's easier to make a mistake. That is why you have to stay focused and try to be as accurate as possible. Ushapti bone will be also the first highlight of the bones and beaks. Use it with a glaze technique in places that would be touched by light the most. Above the eyes, under the eyes, at the top of the beak and at the top of the head. As you can see, the Rayland flesh shade made the base color look much much darker than the actual Ushapti bone. Also, after using shade, painting the base color as the first highlight will make your miniature look more smooth and just prettier.
That white will be the final highlight on the bones. Do it only on the most prominent parts. The ones you highlighted before, but only at the top of the element. Try not to overdo it, because that white is very bright and every mistake will be very visible. Now with the eye, cover the white of the eye with that white. You may have to put few layers on this place, as the dead white is quite translucent paint. The stiller purple will be the base color of the bird's eyelids. Try to do it precisely, because those elements are hard to access, hence hard to paint. Luganath orange will be the second color on the eyelids, it will be a highlight, so try to do it only at the top of the element. Use glaze or lining technique.
Now Mephiston Red, which is the base color for the tongue. Try to be very, very precise because the tongues are even more hard to access than the eyelids. Every mistake will be very difficult to repair as the red is very, very saturated color. Now will be Wild Rider. We will use it as a highlight for a tongue. Do not use a lot of paint, just make a small line on a tongue on each side. We are using dead white again. Now for the second layer on the eye. When it's dried out, use Cassandra yellow. Take a big amount of wash on your brush and just smudge it all over the white part of the eye. We will use now a dry brush technique with livery green to highlight the base of the miniature the flame acid like form use this technique on the most prominent parts and on feathers. Both these and these on the back. Gauss Blaster is the color we will use as lining on the skin of the demon and it will be our final step on the skin so try to be as precise as possible for real because this is gonna be visible forever it's highly highly difficult to cover the mistakes done in this step also, try to touch every little detail, it will come out really nicely.
We are going back to flash gates. We will be using it to highlight the joint on the back of the creature. We paint it with orange. It will be our only highlight in this place. Pink is our first color on the eyes of the birds. Use a perfect liquidity of the paint. You can try it out on your hand. Not too liquid, not too stiff, just perfect. Do a small dot and that's it. We recommend doing it with brush with a long sharp tip. Now again we are going to be using dry brush technique. Dry brush is on the most prominent parts of the flame acid like form. Just to highlight the most visible elements. as well as feathers. Try to do it only on the top of feathers. Morphang is gonna be the first color we'll be using on the eye of the beast. Try to water it down and sketch the pupil. Do not use very saturated paint as it's gonna be only a sketch. Also it's like a freehanding. If you do it with more saturated paint now, it's gonna be very difficult to cover later. Matte black will be the color of the pupil and the brown will be the iris. You may have to use few layers of black to cover the yellow eye. That is why do it slowly, do it precisely. Mark the surface around the pupil as the iris. 
and blend it smooth from yellow to brown. Now white will be used to make a reflection on the eye. Now we're gonna add some more glaze The gradient between yellow and brown is really beautiful here As you can see our painter is using brush with sharp tip to make it more precise Warpstone Glow is the color that we'll be using as dry brush technique on the acid flame like form. We will be using it only at the end of the flames. Try not to touch any other element. Try not to touch any other element as it will be very difficult to cover. You can see the difference already. Yellow is the second color for the bird's eyes. As you did before, do only a small dot. You can try the paint liquidity on your hand before you do it on the miniature. One small movement and it's done. Now you can clean your miniature with a clean, soft brush. We did a lot of dry brushing, so it may have left a lot of dust of paint on the miniature and we don't want it to stick to it. Now we're gonna be dry brushing with dark sea blue and we're gonna mark only the tip of the flames, like the very very tip.
and that's how the final product looks like. I hope you enjoyed it. Tell us in the comments what you think of our miniature. Click the like button, click the subscribe button and the bell to see what's coming next. See you next time. Bye!